Managing toxic tall fescue on breeding farms in particular is imperative for them to ensure healthy foaling outcomes for their mares. One way that we can do that is by sampling and testing ergovaline concentrations in fescue. Now, ergovaline is going to vary tremendously throughout the year and under various management conditions and therefore we need to take regular samples in order to understand what is happening in our pastures at that time. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how to take those samples um, and to use that information to the best of our ability. So to, so to sample a pasture, we're going to take a representative sample, um, which requires at least 10 individual handfuls of fescue within the pasture. We're going to sample that at grazing height. So if the pasture is really tall, it's going to be a, a much higher sample up off the ground versus a short pasture like this one. It's going to be a much smaller sample. And finally, we need to handle that sample well by keeping it cold and dark from the moment that we sample it. Ergovaline is very sensitive to heat and light, and so sample handling is really important. Finally, we're going to get that sample to the lab as soon as possible in order to get that analysis um, as accurate as we possibly can. So Lauren here is going to demonstrate how to take a pesky team. Yep, so here I have our cooler that we use to make sure that the fescue samples stay cool and in the dark environment. It's nice and handy, very portable. And we also have a little Ziploc bag where we put the fescue samples and a knife that we use to cut it. So you have to be a little bit careful because otherwise you might cut yourself. But the first thing we gotta do is find a good fescue sample. So the way that we can identify our fescue is making sure that it has the corduroy stripes and that it has a slight serrated edge on the side of the leaf. And so what I typically like to do is find a nice sample, grab it with my left hand like so, and then bring the knife down and carefully cut. And then before I put it in my bag, I like to make sure that I take out any leaves that are not fescue. So I can, here I have a little bit of clover and ragweed that I'm just gonna pull out to try to make sure that our sample is as predominantly fescue as possible. And then we put it in our bag, stuff it in the ice. We have a little bit of ice in here to keep it cool. And then close it up and then move to our next area. So typically we like to make a zigzag pattern throughout the field to make sure that we get a wide variety and correct sample from each part of the pasture.